Hey guys, Mr. PC Electronics here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to unlock this home security Brinks box. It's a smaller version. It has a digital pad and it has a key. Well, I purchased this uh, at a thrift shop and it didn't come with the key. So what happens is, is when you lock it, it locks, but you can also unlock it and get into the safe. So I'm gonna show you how you can lock this, punch in the code, and then unlock it because it only will allow you to set the code if you have the key in lock position. So when you come over here and hit the reset button and reprogram the code, it'll never lock. So here's what happens. You put it in lock, of course it's locked, but you can immediately unlock it without punching in the code or using the key because the key's obviously in the unlock position. So the code one, two, three, and the star, it doesn't set, it's still flashing yellow telling me that uh, it's not locking it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. First step is you're going to open this up. The next step, we're going to take these two screws out over here. And we're going to go ahead and remove this little panel. All you do is pull out. What we're going to do is we're going to make this lock mechanism, this computer, think that this lock is in the lock position. So we're going to take this Phillips head screw off right here. Go ahead and pull it out. Set that aside and we're going to take this little gear off right here. We're going to just pull it off. It has a little square so you can't mess it up. Set that aside and now we're going to slide this over. Now in order to do this we need to go back to the back side over here and we need to turn it to the lock position. So as you can see it goes up so that gives us some space here now we need to take this slider right here and slide it all the way forward not quite all the way but just enough so it releases this little spring mechanism so I'm gonna leave mine right about there the springs all the way out we're gonna take the little gear we're just gonna set it back on there put the Phillips screw back in just like that and now all we're going to do is put the case back over in order to program a new code you push this button one time punch the code in hit star punch the code in again and hit star again once you press the red button you're going to get this yellow flashing light and you're going to go ahead and program the code we're going to type in one two three four star one two three four star Give it a second. It should change here in a second. There we go. And it's programmed. So now what we're going to do, we're going to lock it and unlock it. See, now it won't go back. So we'll go one, two, three, four, star. There it is. And unlocked. In order for this to work, it obviously has to be in the unlock position with the key if it's locked and you don't know the code then there's really no way to get in there without breaking the safe open. <laughs> 